Sigoni, Sigoni, how's your macaroni? Hey guys, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to learn how to make this unique crochet toy for babies. They're called crochet color pockets. So for this tutorial, you will need six different colors. We have purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. And obviously, these are the colors of the rainbow. You will also need a five millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and some colorful popsicle sticks for the babies to play with. All right, let's get started with this tutorial. To get started with the crochet color pockets, we're first going to create a slip knot, and then we're going to make a chain of 22. Now, if this is your first time over here and you've never made a chain or a slip knot before, I have quite a few beginner tutorials if you'd like to go check them out. I will leave them up here in the cards and in the description box below. Okay, so we have our chain of 22. So what we're going to do is work in half double crochet for this entire pattern. And because I'm speaking in US terms, a half double crochet in the US is a half treble crochet in the UK. So to create the half double crochet, we're going to yarn over our hook and insert your hook into the third chain from your hook. Now for this particular pattern, I like to work my stitches into the back bump of the chain. You don't have to do this, I just like the way that it looks when it's finished. So to work into the back bump, if you'd like to do that, you'll turn your chain to the side and you see these bumps on the back of your chain. That's where we'll be inserting our hook. So we have chain one, chain two, and into that third chain, we're going to turn it over and insert your hook into that back bump, yarn over, pull up a loop, and you'll have three loops, and then yarn over, pull through all three loops. And so you're going to half double crochet into the back bump of each stitch across. All right, so this is the end of round one, and this is why I like to work into the back bump, because it has a really neat edging. But again, not necessary, it's just something that I like to do. Now to move on to round two, we're just going to chain two, turn your work, and that chain two does not count as a stitch, so we're going to half double crochet into that first stitch and each stitch across. All right, and you should have 20 stitches in each row. So when you go back and count, just make sure that you have 20 stitches and remember that that chain two at the beginning of the row does not count as a stitch. Now for row three and each row forward, we're just going to chain two and half double crochet in each stitch across. And because we're making these color pockets in rainbow colors, we're just going to do this same thing with each color. So I will meet you at the end of row 21. All right, so now that we've reached the end of row 21, we're going to tie off our work, but we're going to leave a super long tail so that we can sew in the sides for our pockets. So what you're gonna do is just measure your yarn about three times the size of your length here, just to be safe, and then go ahead and cut your yarn, and then yarn over your hook and pull that strand all the way through and pull tight to secure. Now to create our pockets, we're going to use a tapestry needle. So I'm gonna go ahead and thread that tapestry needle. Turn your rectangle around and fold it up to where you can see four rows. So we have one, two, three, four. So we're gonna fold it up right to here. And so this is about an inch and a half. So now we're just going to whip stitch this pocket shut. All right, so we have this side woven in, so you can see that here. And then if you want, you can go back around to the other side just to make sure that it's extra secure. And then we're going to repeat this same step on the other side of our work. All right, and here we are with our pocket, just like that. All right, now let's do the same thing with the other colors. Okay, and that is it for today's tutorial for crochet color pockets. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you have fun making this toy for the babies in your life to help them practice their fine motor skills and color recognition. All right, I'll see you next time.